Oi. So I've watched a few movies over the last week. Um, haven't had a chance to make a video about them, so I will do them all now. Uh, the first one I watched was The Old Dark House, and that's uh, directed by James Whale, um, who also directed Frankenstein and also has Boris Karloff, just as Frankenstein does. Um, Frankenstein would be one of my all-time uh, favourite Universal monsters, so that's why I picked this up. And um, man, this is an awesome little film too. Um, I hadn't really heard of it previously. It's basically, there's a big um, uh, storm going on and uh, uh, a couple have to stop. Uh, they can't go on on the road. The road's sort of flooded and they um, come across this old mansion or old dark house and um, go in there and there's um, some unusual characters living there, an unusual family. And um, as they sit and learn a little about each other, um, another group of people also have to stop and join them in the old dark mansion or the old dark house. Um, and basically the first half of the movie is getting to know all these characters and uh, they're finding out they've all got their own secrets um, as it might be. Um, and then as the, the story goes on you find out the you know the uh, occupiers of the old dark house are the ones with probably the biggest secret. Um, so yeah, Boris Karloff does a fantastic job as always as a kind of monstrous butler. Um, and yeah, th there's a few, uh, few little surprises here and there. Uh, interesting moments and uh, some great characters. The, the people that, that live in the old dark house are just a really wacky little family. Um, yeah, this was a surprising little gem. I really, really enjoyed this. I think if you like Frankenstein, I, I, I would think you would enjoy this too, or sort of any of those old sort of uh, sort of dark house type movies, um, haunted mansions. Not that this is so much a haunted movie, but you know that that sort of creepy house sort of movies. I think you really get a kick out of this. I really did enjoy this a lot, um, and I'd be keen to watch it again. Uh, the next one I watched uh, a couple of nights ago was an Aussie film called Snowtown and it's about a, uh, a crime that occurred in the late 90s here uh, in a place called Snowtown and it's this is a great film really fantastic yeah they've written drama here it's sort of like a drama horror because it's you know the, the, the truth of it all is so horrific um, and a lot of this film it's, it's sort of typically uh, Australian uh, as far as um, you know it's a slow burner uh, you really go into depth with all the characters and that sort of thing before you, you know, get to the main event. Or, I mean, there isn't really a main event as such. The whole movie is just a, a fantastic watch, and it's it's most it's more even more about the lead up to these horrific crimes uh, than the crimes themselves. You know, it's just interesting to see the, uh, this young fellow's journey. On the front, it's hard to see with this sticker, but it's about this guy's journey into just. Um, this terrible, seedy, dark, um, horrific place, um, along with this character who leads him, and uh, it's all all the more horrific for the fact that it's uh, based on true events. So, man, this is I rate this really highly. And if you have never seen Snowtown, you need to pick this up, um, especially if you like true crime type stuff. This would be one of the the, the better true crime ones I've ever seen. Beautifully directed. Um, uh, I can't, you know brilliant film just if you've never seen Snowtown if you never heard about the Snowtown um, um, murders look them up but um, I, I suggest picking up this film you can't go wrong with that um, and then this morning I watched <laughs> uh, Seed People and it's as bad as it looks and as bad as it seems um, it's a full moon production or a movie full moon feature so you sort of know what you're getting into these are the puppet master type uh, crew and it's no no better than the puppet masters probably a, a fair bit worse um, I mean a lot of concepts here that have all been done before uh, a lot of invasion of the body snatchers type elements going in here day of the Triffids a little bit of critters thrown in the mix too but don't let the, that fool you it may borrow these very small elements from these great films but this film is not a great film it's uh it's pretty dull in places I mean it's not the worst to be honest with you I was kind of semi-entertained. I think what held it together was the, the creatures are, uh, even though they're cheesy as all hell, you can see one on the back, they're actually kind of fun to watch. So um, I, you know, I knock it a bit, but it has it has a bit of fun cheese to it. It is a fun movie. Um, I, I maybe, no, I won't say that. 
I was going to say I enjoyed it more than the Puppet Masters, but they're about on par. I'm not, I've got all the Puppet Masters, but I'm not a huge fan of the movies or Full Moon features, but, um, you know, each to their own. I still buy their stuff, so they can't be that bad. But yeah, cheesy as all hell, um, little horror sci-fi. If you like cheesy stuff, man, you get into this. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the three films I watched. I would probably rate absolutely, absolutely going out, out and pick up or, or watch Snowtown. You will not be disappointed with this. This is a brilliant film. Um, and, you know, almost as equally, this is a great film too. Not as equally, but, you know, it's a really fun film. Definitely recommend this. And Seed People, only for the cheese ball at heart. Absolutely. This is uh, not a great film, but it has some cheesy elements. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you.